Welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska, home of the Cornhuskers and home to some of the most loyal fans in the sport where, once again, Memorial Stadium will be sold out. A Big Ten showdown coming conference games where the results will stick with you for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Maryland Terrapins taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. We'll kick it off to get us underway. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Oh, what vision. And there he goes. He will score. Touchdown, Nebraska. And people still fill in the stands. And he takes the opening kickoff back to the house to fire up the crowd, fire up his teammates. What a start for this young man. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that one will put his name in the record books. You can't have a longer return in college football. 100 yards for six. They're just about to boot it away full of energy after housing that last kickoff. Looking for daylight from inside his 20. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Terrapins offense will start this game off. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Takes a handoff. It's Hemby. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having the pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws and scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. And the Terrapins will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He's got great speed. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. The Cornhuskers offense taking the field for a chance we have to see them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up at the box score, but these are the guys at the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody have to play well for their team to succeed. Goes to the option. Quick toss. Looking for room at the 30. And that's what this option will do to you. They got the pitch man free, and he was off to the races. 
tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he froze that defender. He thought he was going to pitch it, kept it himself, and turned it into a big play. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Husker! The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. And that running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Maryland has the ball back and the Terrapin offense ready to go. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right, the opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you gotta continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field, and get him to the ground. The Terrapins line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was quick. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. machine and you're going to get it done on the ground just going to chew up the ground yards just going to eat you up play physical be different and that's what nebraska fans want throwback they can't corral the pitch the ball's on the ground bounced right back to them touchdown corn huskers and once he found some daylight it was time to make a house call and that's not how you draw it up. But how about the offense and the awareness? You see the ball out, forget jumping on it. I'm going to pick that puppy up. I'm going to take it to the house. The OC, great call on that one, buddy, because it worked to perfection. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive took no time at all. A couple of plays and finished it with the long run for the touchdown. Just about set to kick it away. Caught 
inside the 20 chance for a good return. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Back to pass. It's Edwards. He's got his man. Oh, did you like that stiff arm? Get a face full of that as he gets it up to the 34. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? It'll be a draw. And he didn't squeeze it. It's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And I tell you what, man, you got to do a better job of taking care of the football. I got to know. I got the first down. Running backs. This is job security. You better handle that thing well, Paul. And because of that, David, you might see another running back jog out and field the next time this offense takes it. We're seeing a lot. Got a lot of running room. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Nebraska. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They couldn't draw up a drive better than that one. Just gashed him for the big play in the run and gave him one snap, one touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense, ready to go. Maybe they learned something from their opening script of plays, David, but other than that, this has been an abject disaster. And I think they learned what not to do. I mean, this has been an abject disaster. They haven't done anything right, offense, defense. Palmer, this one's ugly, and it's still early. Yeah, I'd normally say, well, it's first quarter. Just don't worry about it. There's time, but worry. this is the worst start possibly could have had. So they need to score a touchdown right here. Dropping back, it's Edwards. And he can't escape, and down he goes. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. Slips through the line. Wide open, and it's a foot race. The speed, the shiftiness, the elusiveness, all on display in that sweet return there. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. for a productive play on first down. The give to the back. Just keeps picking up the tough yards and gets it down to the 26. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The running back has it. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. Running back searching for a hole. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Give to the running back. 
He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. Man, what an opening quarter for this offense. They've got it. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Husker! Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, and the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense grabs it, and they're taking it the other way. Touchdown, Cornhusker. Don't just get the ball. Score with the ball, and the defense did. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the cube into the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up, take it all the way back to the house for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing.
They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Maryland has the ball back, and the Terrapin offense ready to go. The give to the back. It's loose. They recover their own fumble. Somehow, who knows how they got that thing back. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. Dropping back, it's Edwards. Bought a little time, lets it go. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. you got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. And the Terrapins decide to punt it away. It doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. And they'll mark this one at the 20-yard line. What a really good job by the punt team. Listen, you put all your speed, your athletes, a lot of starters are on these teams now in college football, and that's the reason why. You need these guys to go down, make plays, try to tackle these elusive guys in the open field, and hey, even cause a turnover? That's just great. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Quarterback on the keeper. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but there's just an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort by that guy. Makes one man miss. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Cornhuskers have it with a first and ten. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. From the shotgun, the inside give. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. The Huskers will hustle to the line. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. The offense in hurry up mode. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It'll be a run on third and short. Tackled, but he has a first down. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and hitting. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? You gotta find something. The defense has gotta find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you gotta keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Here it is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Here comes the third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. Finds a crease at the 20. Touchdown, Nebraska! And they add six. 
six more to the board with that trip to the house. Saw a crease, nothing but green grass and opportunity, and he flashed through it for six. And when you can get 30-plus yards out of your running back and he can make big plays like this, man, it's hard to call a lot of passes. I'm just going to feed this guy the rock. up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the capper came on a 34-yard jaunt to the end zone. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Second down coming up. Back to throw, it's Edwards. Oh, he had it, and he dropped it. Almost one of those big plays he's known for. It'll be third down. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chain. The Terrapins send out the punt unit. He'll bring it back. It's Henderson. Spins away. He gets a block. Really nice job all the way around. Got a few blocks, made a couple of moves, and a good return on that one before he's pushed out of bounds. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. There. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock, didn't get the snap off quickly enough. Offense set on first down. He's looking to pass. Throws to the tight end. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. After the misfire, it's second down. Quarterback will audible. Looking to throw on second down. Trying to beat the D deep. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. Well, even though that was an incompletion, I wouldn't be surprised if this secondary wants to start playing deeper coverages. Because this offense has shown that they're willing to be aggressive. They've got a lot of speed. This defense cannot allow any big plays here in the second half. Gliding to the right, still trying to make a play. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You know, you hear the term nickel so much. Most people stay in nickel most of the time because of all the speed in college football and the running quarterback. And you see why it pays dividends. More speed on the field when the QB does take off to go get him on the ground and force a fourth down. And they can't make the connection on fourth down, and they'll turn it over. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. To the air, it's Edwards. Pulls it in. And some room to work. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. 29 Philly, 29 Philly. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Cooper. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. He finds his man. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play. Has 
from Seta. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. And this is a really important series of plays, a chance to cut into the lead just before halftime. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. This will likely be the last play of the half. And they spike it to stop the clock. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Lincoln. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Nothing went right in that first half in the first order of business here. Try not to be embarrassed any further. But the comeback is possible. Remember 2006, Michigan State down 35 to Northwestern at halftime? They somehow came back and won the game. But it all starts on one play, and that has to happen here on this first drive for the end. Yeah, the first possession, because your, your possessions, you're only going to get so many possessions, and you've got to score on every single one of them. Offense, defense, special teams have to play out of their mind, but they have to believe. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Edwards. They're bringing heat. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge. And they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. And the Terrapins will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He gets it away from his own end zone. And the ball will come to rest just inside the 40-yard line. And these punt returners only get so many opportunities to try to make plays. And do they want to make them? So much space back there when you put them the football. But the thing is, look at all these guys flying down the field. All the speed on the field for that punt coverage team. And you could tell they caught up with him to force the fumble. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Right back to him on the ground. Got the first down and still on his feet. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. And the Huskers are in the hurry up. And obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead. And now when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed, so much skill. The running back, receiver, tight end, the quarterback making good decisions. It is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Husker! And the punishment has been extended. 
Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score came on an impressive run from the 20. On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense ready to go. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Going to run it. It's Hemby. That hole closed quickly. A pickup of one to the 15. A lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But... And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. The Terrapins will bring the punt team onto the field. This has been a frustrating day. And I'm not sure it's going to get any better. You're already down huge... Listen, this offense can't protect this quarterback. They don't do anything right right now. This defense has had their number all game long. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. How about that blocking up front and that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, Dave? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive. Work. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking left. Holds it in. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. The Cornhuskers come to the line in the hurry up. To the air, it's Rayola. Throws to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. The Huskers getting set on first and 10. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. He's lets it fly deep downfield. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have squeezed it. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. Got some room in it to the goal line. Touchdown, Cornhusker! And the pummeling has started. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 63, Maryland, three. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Finally stopped after a solid return out to the 32. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. 
And, and I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. How about the left side of the line getting off the ball, creating some holes for that running back to get through, make a big play on the handoff to the left? When something works that well, you might as well go right back to it. I mean, they showed no indication that they could stop it. I like to go back to it and hurry up, get to the line of scrimmage quick, run it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. It's a draw. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to pass, it's Edwards. Fires a bullet, now it's picked off. Takes it the other way. The 40. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Nebraska! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Pulls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense, ready to go. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man, and, and see the cushion, and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. What an individual effort there by the quarterback on the RPO, because everybody was covered. He just takes off, and he shows you his ability out in the open field. He's like a running back. He's got great vision. He's got the speed. He looks so natural when he's in the second level carrying the rock. Huge gain on offense by the Q. I love it on that play. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Terrapins come to the line with a new set of downs. 29 Philly. 2-9 Philly. Back to throw. It's Edwards. He'll get rid of it. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. Lasso. Lasso. He's looking to throw. Using his legs, keeping it. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down.
like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. A third down play to open up this quarter. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Pressure coming. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. Oh, Lord have mercy. I got nothing for him. Three in a row? Really? Three sacks? All right. Let's change the game plan. Let's run the football, get the ball out quick. This isn't working. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to get the three. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. And that is no good. And I guess they wanted to draw a little closer in the stand. They're still way, way behind. Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dave. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game has him on the doorstep. And the Huskers trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. The play action fake. Going for six. Touchdown, Husker. And the route is on. This has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's going to bring it out. And the ball's free deep in his own territory. Oh, and he's able to get it back. Good thing for him. Wow, they narrowly avoid disaster there. They fumble the kick return. And if that goes to the other team, all the momentum is no longer with them. So a nice job being able to pounce back on that. And the head coach breathing a huge sigh of relief. They'll start this drive with a pass floating away he'll pull it down and they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup bad news for the defense they gave up a first down on a scramble good news though they got a lick 
on that quarterback. That is a dream shot for anybody on defense. So, yeah, you might have made a good play individually. Good job, bud. Out of boy. You might get a helmet sticker for that, but you're also going to be in the ice bath after the game. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. I know this defense came into this game hoping to get pressure on the field, but I don't know in their wildest dreams if they ever thought it was going to look this good. I lost track at five sacks. They have been all over this quarterback today. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. It's caught. Flying down the left side. At the 20. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. The entire complexion of this possession changed on that one play. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 20. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. Looking for more room. Inside the 50. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Out of the end zone. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback and this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in zone. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. What can you say about the impact this dude has had on this game? He has been completely unblockable all game long, guys. That's his third sack of the game. The Terrapins will punt this one away. And the punt team will touch it dead just about the spot where it landed. And these punt returners want to make big plays, but man, oh man, did he make a big mistake flipping the field position. Defense flying in on him, and he did not secure the football in that play. So they start this drive from inside their own 20 at the 19-yard line. Motion from the offense. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. Kept it, and he's past the marker. 
And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Now on second down. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Yeah, they've had a day. And it's the complete and total offense. They, they got the ground going, and obviously this is why you see him. You, you're going to feature him because he can turn those legs, get those extra yards, but they've had balance throwing for touchdowns. Like, this offense has been very complete today, and that's why they're winning so big. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? The Cornhuskers will snap it on first and ten. They'll go to the ground. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. The Huskers headed quickly to the line. Hand off to the single back. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Someone say run out of the clock. Someone say I don't need to add points. But here's the thing. It's your job to stop them on defense. Now listen, the handshakes, they might get a little bit interesting after this game, but the offense did their job. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. No more room to run. They make the tackle right there, and the clock is at zero, and that's how this one will end. Just complete and utter dominance, and this one outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedal to the metal right from the opening kick. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the all this play could decide. Just frying pan meat face, ball game over. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.